Our next fight in the cruiserweight division, Evander Holyfield. Light heavy is an amateur, now 186. And against Anthony Davis, Davis ranked number nine in the world in this division. Holyfield may well have had the toughest pro debut of all the Olympians, though he won a unanimous decision. He struggled against Lionel Byer. He got the decision over six rounds, and Holyfield had some trouble handling the aggressiveness of Bayard. In winning seven pro fights, Holyfield has four KOs, three decisions, one of those over eight rounds, and here against Mark Rivera, Holyfield shows some of his raw power. One of the strengths of Evander Holyfield, he is patient for a young fighter. He will, if necessary, grind it out. I look forward to him. I look based to rely on my boxing ability. If I can't knock a guy out, I can sit there and use my jab and beat him, beat them all eight rounds or how many rounds that I have to go. So it's it's not like I'm short fuel, short patient or anything. If I can't knock him out, I just beat him for eight rounds. And the crowd here in the pavilion comes up for this one because this one figures to be a good one. Anthony Davis with a record of 17 wins, three losses, seven KOs. Standing there on the right, Holifield on the left. The referee is Al Rothenberg giving the final instructions. To give you an idea of where Davis has been now, he has fought some good ones in his time, including uh, Carlos De Leon losing the chance Second for the down, WBC Second cruiserweight down. title over 12 rounds. He fought uh, Jesse Burnett to win the NABF North American Boxing Federation. And he has, uh, he defended it against Elijah Tillery and then lost it Box. to Bash Ali. So Davis has been about. And he's in against Evander Holyfield, who uh, became such a national figure as a result of a disqualification in the Olympic Games. The winner of this fight figures to be in line for a title opportunity with Donald Quarry and uh, Leon Spinks fighting. And uh, the winner of that one to face the winner of this one. And it could be Evander Holyfield. Thus, he could be the first of the Olympians to get a title opportunity. But Anthony Davis may have something to say about that before this day is done. Let's go. Fight. Hold it. Fight. Let's go. Stiff left hand by Holyfield. Fought in the Olympics as a light heavy. Now he weighed in yesterday at 185 and a half. Lives in Atlanta. Born in Atmore, Alabama. Holyfield in the black trunks. Come on, fight out of it, fight out of it. Heel, let go of him. That's it. That's a good, quick, hurting left hand that Holyfield carries. All right, let go. Come on, come on. Back off yourself. Back off yourself. That's the referee you're talking to, Madam Rothenberg. You don't have any trouble finding Anthony Davis, do you? He's right there. Right in your face. Good left, chopping left hand by Holyfield there. And he comes right back with another one to the side of the head of Davis. That's a hard left to the face of Davis by Holyfield. So while Davis is extending his straight left straight out and, and, and making some contact with it, Holyfield is sliding past it and doubling on him. Come on, stop wrestling, stop wrestling. Let's go back off yourselves, back off yourselves. That's it. Holyfield with about two and a half inches in reach advantage. Come on, get loose. That's it. That left hand to Stinger snapped into the face of Davis. And last time it caused Anthony to blink. Come on, fight out of it, fight out of it. Let's go, fight out of it. Quit wrestling. Because of the build of the two men, Holyfield looks the slighter, but they weigh virtually the same as we go inside the final 10 seconds of round number one. And this one is going to warm up. Round number two, scheduled for eight cruiserweights, both men in right at 186. Evander Holyfield in the black trunks. 
Anthony Davis. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Fight on it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let First round, close. Holyfield, very accurate, particularly with the left hand. There, like that. Pow. And when he extends it, gets that extension on it, it causes Davis to blink. And uh, imagine the time the day is over, Anthony's going to have a pretty good sized mouse under that left eye because that seems to be the place where that left is landing most of the time. Anthony Davis ranked ninth by the WBA and WBC. Good left hand by Anthony Davis into the face of Holyfield. Good combination by Davis as he made his move to the ropes, but there Holyfield tied him up, tied him well. Both men scoring with left hands in that exchange. Good right hand by Evander. Brought another one over the top right there. Well, he's found something with a right hand lead here in the middle of the second round. Another one. We'll alert our local stations that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. Stop the holding. Watch, keep him up, keep him up. Good right hand underneath by Holyfield. Watch it, watch it. Holyfield very composed. He's making uh, Anthony Davis miss a lot. And he's making, he's, he's accomplishing it without a, a whole lot of energy being wasted. Come on, fight out of it. Covered very well right there. But the Davis nailed him with a good short, sharp right hand. Holyfield comes back with a right and Davis with a left. That was a good tough exchange, good for both men. Well, we come to the end of round two and we'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this word from our local station. Out they come for round number three. Johnny Taco sending Anthony Davis out to start round number three with uh, the admonition to keep pressing the man. Don't let him have a chance to take a breath. Johnny, of course, been around for years and years and years in Las Vegas. But the Holyfield shaken a little bit by that left hand and uh, retreats to clear his head a little bit. And Anthony Davis now trying to press for an advantage. It shook Holyfield, but he looks all right. His eyes look clear. He has a right hand by Anthony Davis. And the Holyfield at this juncture shows no particular sign of trying to hang on. Davis trying to press in. And Holyfield, if he is hurt, trying to cover it. But he was shaken by that left hand. No question about it. Got off first that time in that exchange. And the left hand by Anthony Davis has taken on the shoulder. Watch that head. Watch that head. Come on, fight out of it. So if, in fact, Watch he head, was Davis. shaken and disoriented for a moment, he seems to have shaken on, it off, fighting, so that right fight. hand high on the side of the head may have shaken him all over again. So it's a good round for Anthony Davis. Short right hand by Holyfield, but didn't seem to bother Davis. Davis nails... Uh, Holyfield with a right. Works underneath, forcing Holyfield to cover for a moment. Davis's best round by far. Good left hand by Anthony Davis. Good right hand by Holyfield. I figured this one was going to warm up. They're now in the third round. They're loose. Holyfield digging to the body. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, hold it. I got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Come on. Don't fall on his neck. Don't fall on his neck now. Let's go. 
Davis digging to the body. Holyfield standing right there with him. A right by Davis and a left by Holyfield in that last exchange, and they were both good punches. That's a good right hand by Holyfield, and that stopped Davis for a moment. Davis is wobbled with a hard right by Holyfield. Now both men have been hurt in the round, and Evander Holyfield has Anthony Davis in trouble. Davis is trying to hang on, just getting a grip on him, and now he's taking more punishment. And a standing eight count by the referee, Al Ruffenberg. And that's a good six, call. Seven. It's a Let break in a six for Anthony Davis under the rules. He's allowed to have that. Go. He's got Hold blood it. coming out of his mouth, and he was almost put down in the closing seconds. Holyfield was hurt earlier and shook it off, maintained his composure, covered himself very well, and then in the last 30 seconds of the third round, he almost put Davis down. Davis jarred there by the right, and then that short left that came inside. And Holyfield looked pretty good, didn't he? As he went right to the target. Oftentimes, well, you saw Tyrell Biggs earlier do it. Got a little bit excited and was not able to find the, the right place for the right punch for some time. But I thought Holyfield did a pretty good job of it. And then the referee, Rothenberg, steps in because uh, Davis was absorbing so much punishment at that juncture. He felt the standing eight count was in order, and I certainly would not disagree with it. Oh, Davis, real trouble, and now bleeding heavily from the nose as he comes out to answer the bell for round number four. Tough round for both men. Hollifield shaken early, and Davis almost put down late. Davis does not look fresh. Hard left and right by Holyfield. Holyfield got him on his knee with a left hook. Combination down to one knee goes Anthony Davis. Doesn't like the call as Al Rothenberg, the referee, steps in and stops the fight in the fourth round. So the referee stops the contest as that was a wicked combination by Hollyfield, and what was the time? 31 seconds of the fourth round. So Anthony Davis, who got in trouble in the closing minute of the third round, did not look fresh when he came out for the fourth round, and obviously he had not fully recovered from the pounding he had taken in that closing minute. And Evander Hollyfield puts him away. Referee stopping the bout. 31 seconds of the fourth round. Well, you know what was the most impressive thing about it? When Holyfield, in this outing for Evander, when he got hurt, he composed himself. He never showed that he was hurt. He stepped right back in the face of the man. And then he almost got him in the closing moments of the third. And here is the flurry that caused the fight to be stopped in the fourth round after 31 seconds. And again, I don't disagree with the decision because Holyfield was loading them up by that time and uh, virtually all of them were landing. So, here comes the man out of disappointment from the Olympic Games, stepping forth and may very well wind up the first of the 1984 Olympians to fight for a championship. He may not have to have more than two fights in order to get the title call. Another thing that is impressive to me in the case of Evander Holyfield, he was a very, a very shy kind of a youngster. He didn't speak all that terribly well, even as he went into the Olympic Games. But coming out of the Olympic Games and with the public attention and uh, obviously working at it, he has now become something of a public personality. It's fun to see that happen in one so young. Coming up next, an interview with Hollyfield and Mark Freeland, still to come live. Still good. Well, you were in there against a toughie. You knew he was going to be the toughest guy you'd run up against, and he, he showed it. Yeah, this guy, you know, I know he was a top 10 fighter. I know this guy wasn't on back off because I was Olympia. Anything was going to make him work harder. So I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that easy, and it wasn't easy. 
right from the beginning both of you looked like that you were trying to measure and land the big punch right off the first 10 seconds well I, I, I was expecting the guy to be real strong and I was trying to measure the guy with my jab and, uh, and I noticed he kept ja he kept jabbing me to the body and I was trying to hit him with a overhand right but somehow he he was able to get his head down all right third round early in the third round looked to me like he really stung you well he hit me with a good shot and uh he did he did hurt me a little bit here's a little uh, yeah I'm, I'm standing on the outside waiting on him and that's why I messed up I'm waiting on him and I that left hook yeah left hook he hit me he, he hit me right on the button with a left hook but I was able to snap back because I'm in real good shape well now I thought that you if you were hurt you sure as heck faked it pretty well. You may, you you composed yourself, and uh, you certainly didn't show him that you were hurt, other than that one momentary wobble. Well, uh, there was saying when he hit me, it wobbled me, but but my condition was able to bring me back, and and that's how it is in boxing. I think when you're in great condition, you're able to come back on things like that. You almost got him then in the closing uh, minute of that round. Oh yeah, I, I I caught him with a good right hand and a left hook, and like that, and I have him wobbly, but I kind of got impatient at the time because I knew it was the end of the round. Well, he didn't, when he came out for the fourth event, he was certainly had not recovered from what he had absorbed in the third. Yeah, well, I, I, I knew that when I when I seen him come out and I, I was able to keep the jab on and measure him where I can hit him with, where I can hit him with some straight right hand. How many more fights you think you got before a title fight? One more? Well, well either one or two. I'm ready for it. <laughs> All right, babe. Congratulations, good show. All right, thank you. Evander Holyfield out of Atlanta, Georgia still undefeated and on his way toward a title challenge soon now let's go back to a young man named meldrick taylor fought earlier in the day and by videotape we're going to enjoy the taylor action as he takes on victor acosta a lightweight bout both of them coming